It's been kind of a bumpy ride for the PlayStation 3, but with Mass Effect 2, Sony's struggling console has scored a major triumph. Rejoice, Sony fans. Not only are you getting one of the best games of 2010, but you're actually getting an improved version. It may be a year late, but Mass Effect 2 is better than ever on the PS3. Originally released for the Xbox 360 and PC, PS3 owners had to endure a torturous year-long wait for Bioware and Electronic Arts to bring their award-winning game to the PS3. But as it turns out, it was well worth the wait. Running on the Mass Effect 3 engine, the PS3 build of Mass Effect 2 looks noticeably better than its 360 counterpart. And thanks to the storage capacity of Blu-ray, the entire game fits on a single disc. And those are just two of the upgrades that were made for the PS3 version. It's not just about the improved engine and not having to switch discs halfway through the game. Mass Effect 2 also arrives on Sony's platform with an abundance of downloadable content, including an interactive comic book which tells the story of the original Mass Effect. And for PlayStation loyalists, that's a welcome addition. After all, that's probably a game that you'll never, ever see. Of course, extra content and improvements aside, what makes this such a fantastic release is that it's still Mass Effect 2, a game perhaps destined to become one of the defining releases of this generation. Yeah, it's that good. Mass Effect 2 is almost a genre of its own, a perfect combination of the RPG and the third-person shooter. But when you're not gunning down aliens or leveling up your abilities, you're talking to people, and that's what makes Mass Effect 2 so special. This game is incredibly engrossing, and as much as the combat has to do with that, Mass Effect's real magic is the degree to which your decisions affect the experience. The game begins by throwing you right into the fire. A fire within the vacuum of space. Hey, when you make a good game, you get a pass on apparent scientific impossibilities. The important thing is that Commander Shepard, the game's protagonist, suffers a brutal death within the emptiness of space after an attack on his ship. And when the game picks back up, you find Shepard alive and again under attack. Mass Effect 2 tells a rich story filled with all kinds of interesting people and, th and things with eyes all over the place, and the character development is outstanding. But it's all tied together by the game's terrific presentation. Mass Effect feels like a kind of alternate Star Wars universe. It's really that detailed. Every different planet and alien species has its own distinct feel, and that really gives the game an epic sense of scope. The world of Mass Effect 2 is as diverse and beautiful as it is engaging. Ultimately, Mass Effect 2 is the result of some seriously awesome parts. This is a fantastic third-person shooter and RPG, yet somehow it's even better than the sum of those parts. You truly have freedom of choice in this game, and in fact, the entire experience becomes the product of your own personality. Your decisions affect the lives of other characters, the future of entire races, and even the experience waiting for you in the upcoming Mass Effect 3. It's incredible to see games evolve to the point where they evolve based on you. And Mass Effect 2 is a leader in that trend, if not the entire industry. And for Sony fans, the torture is finally over. Finally, Mass Effect 2 is one of the very best games you can buy on the PS3. Arcane.